All right, so kind of putting this together, uh, use the calculator to round the following. We want to look at 2 thirteenths, and we're going to round this to a couple of different places. Uh, just using the calculator because it's a lot faster than doing these things by hand. 2 thirteenths, just take 2 divided by 13. If we wanted to round this to the nearest tenth, let me write a few digits here. Um, I'm going to pull it up on a different screen so I can see it while I'm writing. 0.15384615. Four is what the calculator says. Um, this one is suspect. It may have been rounded up. I don't know exactly what's going on with that one. Um, and actually, one five three eight four six one five. I'm willing to bet that this is three eight. Uh, so this one actually would have been a three. So you're, this is probably actually one five three eight four six repeating. Um, I just realized that looks like a division bar. Um, that's not a division bar, that's a repeating symbol. Alright, so rounding this to the nearest tenth. Um, you know, the fact that this is a repeating decimal actually doesn't really change what we're doing here very much. We wanted to round it to the nearest tenth. Um, well, let's see, I'm going to round it to the nearest tenth here, where this would be 0.2. If I rounded it to the nearest hundredth, I'd be looking there. 0.1538, whatever. Um, uh, this would be 0.15. I'd round down, it looks like there. We rounded this to the nearest thousandth, 0.1538, dot, dot, dot. The nearest thousandth is right there. We get 0.154. Part of the point that I'm trying to make here is that when we're rounding, we don't end up with the exact same number. Um, and another thing, when you're rounding, you don't want to ever round multiple times. Um, if you round off, uh, I guess this is not a good example, but there are certain cases where uh, if I had something like uh, 0.45 and I wanted to round this off to the nearest tenth, that would give me, this is a different problem, uh, round this off to the nearest tenth, it would give me 0.5. If I then chose to round this off to the nearest one, uh, to the, well, actually let's go 1.45 and 1.5, if I wanted to then round this to the ones place, I would think that this is two. But this one, if I rounded it directly to the ones place, you can see it would go to one. So, um, you know, don't round multiple times when you're rounding something. Just go directly for where you need to go. Don't round it multiple times. All right, um, let's round nine sevenths to three decimal places. Let me get my calculator back here. Nine divided by seven. Three decimal places, it looks like that's where the 5 is. Um, 1.287, or 2857, let me write this down. 1.285714, whatever. Uh, if we're rounding it to three decimal places, 1, 2, 3, that would be where that 7 is. Look just to the right of it, if it's 5 or bigger, we get 1.288. Um, same thing goes with 5 elevenths, rounding this to three decimal places. 0.4545, whatever. 0.45 repeating. Now, if you write it like this, this is actually a little bit of a problem for rounding. If I just write the 0.45 with the bar over the top, because then I look at this and I think, well, there is no third decimal place to round it to. Of course, the solution here is to just write more before I say it repeats, or to just do something like this. Um, if I'm rounding this to three decimal places, you can see that's where my third decimal place is. I'm going to round up to get 0.455. Um, let's see. A certain cylinder is normally 3 and 11 30 seconds inch in diameter. It is rebored to be 0 0.044 inches larger. What is the diameter of the rebored cylinder rounding to three decimal places? Um, so, I mean, this one looks like we're going to get, we start out with a mixed number, which putting the mixed number into the calculator, I'll do like this. I'll do three plus 11.30 seconds. Um, you can see that's 3.34 whatever. I'm going to be reboring it so that it's 0 .044 inches larger, so I'll just add on 0 .044. And we got a new number, and we're rounding this to three decimal places, 0 .338775. 3.38775, okay, there we go. Uh, rounding this to three decimal places means to right there. This will be 3.388. This is a little bit of a weird problem because we're mixing back and forth between uh, fractional or mixed number rather 
and um, decimal places and we're rounding it to decimals but yeah I don't know whatever that's how we would do it <laughs>